Closing in on kickoff this a moment ago, the two head coaches, Zach Prince, the 35-year-old, Josh Wolf, the 46-year-old. That's an Irmo, South Carolina native. Zach Prince, who used to go watch Josh Wolf's games at the University of South Carolina, meeting his childhood idol. Can't give time and space to this Austin FC players to turn and face their goal. They're far too good. They'll hurt you every single time. Johan Valencia going direct, drops down to Dalling. Across for Rivas, cuts back now over the bar. Santi Moar. And you talk to Josh Wolf, the ability to win second balls as Greg Hurst goes and extends and tests the shape of Austin FC. It's Dalling who pulls back and gets that. Pivoting out Rivas. Ring tried to take it. Rivas away from Moar. So something if you're Zach Prince, you need to have the communication within your back line, your, your defensive structure. Ring. Great ball. Aruti's first touch of the match comes in the 15th minute. Why do Jimenez bounced all the way through? Lundqvist! Soars to the top row of the lower bowl. Ruti can't get there. Recovered by Pereira. This is a good run by Pereira. Plenty of contact and rolls away. Once again, Mike, you just see the defensive shape for New Mexico. 5 4 1 at the moment. Greg Hurst slots in next to Sam Hamilton. This ball blasted from distance at Zimbakis. To your point, Hurst finally popped out. That pocket opened up. And Redis had to go. Rivas, that's a heavy touch back. Uruti turns, got the shot away. And Zabakis slides down to make the save. Crowd rises, corner, header is in! Austin FC, a tremendous set piece goal. It's a great ball into this near post. And as Redis just comes around the corner, he beats Santi Moore. If you're New Mexico and you're trying to have this high press, you can't press with five players. The back line needs to come with. You just see it's a too big of a gap between the lines. You get beaten, now it's off to the races for Austin FC. Riccone, Lundqvist, Uruti! In Mexico, if that front line goes, that back line needs to come in. Swartz gets beaten way too easy. Then it's just pure pattern play for Josh Wolf out. Luke Fitz, the run in from Yerudi right down the center of the field. You talk about the frustrations in terms of the goals that you've conceded. Great ball. And settled epically. Dropped off with a deflection. We'll carry him wide. Through the legs of Seymour. Redis spins, floats. On to Moar. Rivas down the line. Into an offside, Harry Swartz. And that takes us to halftime. This is clinical stuff from Austin FC at halftime. There's the newcomer for Austin FC, and there's the second half kickoff underway. Austin FC did not feature in the round of 30, uh, or uh, rather the third round, round of 32. Saw eight entrants. Portillo breaking lines. Rivas, a rare moment to run for New Mexico. Moar. Pulled over Portillo. 
Handled by Stuver. It's a good read on the throw, but handed right back to Pereira. Austin flying forward. They are struck from long range by Lundqvist. Well, this player won't be here. Yeah. <laughs> we know what that means. <laughs> Maybe you can guess why. Rigoni crossing. Lundqvist. Covered by Timbakis. Mid to low block, very difficult to break down. So it's very interesting and very uncharacteristic like, especially in that first half with the willingness. And once again, you just see a center back stepping up, better understanding, more aggressive defensively. Get their footing, pull passes together, being more aggressive in their decision making, more decisive, and that's all you can ask for. Hurst. That was a bit wild. Barrera started all 10 league games this year. Averages about 79 minutes of contest, able to get extra 15 off here. Job well done. Ethan Finley and Sofian Jafal enter. They know that Jafal needs minutes. Finley knows this tournament like the back of his hand. A, a Blue Jay. So upcoming here, this is very good news for New Mexico United. Last four seasons, 34 goals for New Mexico United. A very brief stint in Orange County in the middle of that, 16 games. And gradually worked himself into a role where started seeing some significant time with DC United under Ashton's leadership. Of course, times changing in DC since then, and Chafal stepping in here and getting a chance at some much needed time on the field. He'll play as much tonight as he has in the league all year. Redes crossing toward Finley and bounces into the waiting grasp of Tim Bacchus. He has capped in the side on a number of occasions. Wagner coming on. He's committed to play at Michigan. And Amando Moreno as well. Trio of changes here in the 79th minute. Mondo Moreno. Had the option of Yearwood. And now commits the foul, having ceded possession as well. John Gallagher comes in. Trying to help see it out. Gallagher, the son of Paul. Background, hard work comes first and everything comes second. It's been a terrific addition to Austin FC. Yearwood maintains on the bump from Finley, trying to get around Lima. To fall. Gallagher. Down the line. Cutback ball. This tees up well. Gallagher floats across. Finley down off the line by Timpakis. And now cleared away. No need to go down as well. But give credit to New Mexico as they recover a lot of numbers in around Tambakis. And how this ball does not end up in the back of that is beyond me. Flurry of opportunities as Portillo gets away with it. Maybe a chance to run here. Moreno sprinting. Stuver has to retreat. How quick can Moreno attack? He fires a shot that's comfortable for Stuver. Former North Carolina Tar Heel. That Michael featured professionally previously, Albuquerque native. Second round pick. We'll draw the teams out of the groups, set the locations. Finley. Finley chips this to the backside, diving header. What a save, Ted Bacchus. Really good play here as Giroudi. He doesn't give up on the plate. And as Finley understands, he's going to pull out a center back, making this near post run. It's Jafal at the back post. Jafal charging in. Nevertheless, New Mexico with maybe a last gasp here. Pushing into the penalty area, Wagner. Austin FC is moving on to the round of 16.